What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game of the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because we have finally gotten some sneak peek footage of update 9.0. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be going over the footage that we got sent by the devs. We're going to go over the descriptions of the key uh, items that are coming in 9.0 and we're going to kind of discuss what I think about them and what they look like, and it should be pretty cool. So let's jump right into it. First off, right off the bat, we're gonna be talking about the new hero, okay? This is what he looks like. His name is the Necromancer. So let's just read the description, okay? I find these on the uh, on the social media sites for Rush Royale. This is what it says about Necromancer, okay? It says, Necromancer can summon an immortal lich with an aura of numbness, okay, and blocks the use of the opponent's hero active skill. Really cool. Units that fall under the Lich's aura cannot fight and need some time to recover after coming out of it. Lich will scatter without causing damage when it reaches the opponent's gate and the block of the active skill will disappear, okay? In cooperative mode, the summoned lich will block the path of the monsters for a while and reduce their armor with the limits of the of its aura with which will significantly increase the damage against them all right so we get that and then uh you'll be able to win necromancer parts in the rush for glory event okay as well as uh from the in-game store but without further ado let's jump right into uh what he looks like and here we go. So you can see the footage on the screen right now. Bottom right, we got the hero. You can see right now, okay? It's blocking out the opponent's hero. You got a big circle right there of where he actually is. So for the duration of that monster going around that board, he can't use his hero whatsoever. And it actually ended up winning him the game. So really, really cool right there. Love a different hero. Uh, the more heroes there are, the just the more strategies are going to be. I remember when the heroes first came out, you only had Trainer, you only had, what, Jay and Snowflake, <clears throat> I believe. And it was like, they all kind of did the same thing, right? Trainer stops the units, Jay slows the units, Snowflake slows the units and also had a passive ability. But then you got Gadget, you got more damage, then you got Trickster, you're getting more mana. Now you're doing something here with the Necromancer who can actually affect your opponent's board. So it's really, really cool. But let's jump into the next part, which is the new mini boss. Okay, we already talked about the new mini boss, but now we get, actually get to see it uh, in action. Okay, so just a little refresher Vortex. Will be a real, real challenge for you and your opponent. He is able to change his shape, speed himself up and monsters nearby, and most importantly, become immune to any control effects in battle. Vortex will appear randomly and replace for Bannerlord. Okay, so we already knew all that, but let's actually show off what he looks like. And here he is. You can see him creeping along. He kind of works like Warlock. So right here, you saw that he was stopped by Stasis when he doesn't have that blue aura around him. But when it does activate, nothing can stop him, okay? So it's periodic. It's a much quicker refresh time than, say, Warlock. The mini boss, the Banner Lords, right, or, or Vortexes, mini boss, whatever, they're not super, super strong. So I don't know how much this is actually going to affect, but that's it's still a pretty big deal. It seemed like every other second or something like that, every other few seconds it got the immune ability where stasis can't affect it, bombardier can't affect it, none of your heroes slow, I don't think, none of you, any, nothing, right? Like I said, it's like Warlock, it takes away that effect and it's just gonna go along. But also remember, it also speeds up your monster. So he has the ability to change his shape, speed himself up and monsters nearby. So it's not only that immunization, it also can affect the speed and shape, which I don't even know what that really means. Shape of himself. Is that health? Is that like Warlock? It can, I don't know. Maybe it's even more like Warlock than I thought, but I'm not really sure. And if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and also check out those memberships because we got a lot of cool perks, which speaking of which, our very first time seeing it, unless you saw it on stream, our brand spanking new 
Mallard mug matches the background. You guys understand. All you got to be is a rare member, and we will do the uh, raffle poll at the very end of the season, which the season just started, so that's very, very exciting. But last but not least, guys, let's show off this Scrapper unit, okay? Let's break it down real quick. If you haven't seen it, Scrapper, a new legendary unit. I saw it in action, and it's and it's bananas. It's really, really cool. This unit will be part of the Technogenic Society faction uh, and specialize in table control, so a unique Unique ability. Scrapper is a support unit capable of destroying unneeded allied units to strengthen other ones. After a certain amount of destruction, one of your units on the table will be upgraded by one merge rank. Depending on the level of Scrapper, there is a chance that one more of your units will be upgraded by one merge rank as well. So a little bit interesting right there. I didn't totally understand when I first just watched it. Didn't totally understand when I first just uh, uh, read about it. But we're going to watch it together and we're going to break it down. So here's the footage that the devs uh, supplied me. And you can see a few of the scrappers. Look at... Okay, so he just combined it to a dryad. He just took a unit off the board, okay? And then you get one, like a, a little counter as if it's robot. Not 100%... 100% sure how that counter works, but you'll see. So he just got one right there. That actually leveled up two of his units. So I'm assuming his scrapper is a pretty high level because it said typically it'll be one and sometimes it'll be two. But I think throughout this video or this footage here, I think it's two every single time. But a really, really interesting idea and watching this guy play the Blade Dancer Knight Statue deck actually makes a lot of sense so he combined right there leveled up his knight statue combined right there didn't get anything combined right there didn't get anything so not every time and i don't know if it's so there's another one so you can see he combined one two and three in a row and he only got a buff from one of the first merge then he waited a while went back to uh destroying one of the units i think is how they put it and then it upgraded another one of his units. But I was going to say, Blade Dancer, Knight Statue, it sounds like it would be really, really smart. If you're running Blade Dancer, or maybe like an Inquiz deck or something like that, like the other guys running, using your Scrapper, you can always have the right number or have an easier time having the right number of units on the board. But look at how this, this guy is going. We already have a rank 5 Blade Dancer, a, couple, a rank 4 high-ranking knight statues there's a lot of stuff going on from just combining out see right there he combined there he got three uh and that was the end of the footage he got three and nothing nothing uh actually happened after that so i'm gonna have to look over the footage a little bit more check out everything that's going on with um how that actually works and and wait for the update to see to see if it's actually really good but pretty cool right there guys right totally different mechanics similar to robot but at the same time very very different okay it's a support unit rather than a damage unit and you're buffing your your board you're buffing your attackers and if you've got support like night statues it's buffing them too so it seems like it would be really strong it's just a matter of kind of figuring out exactly how the mechanics work and exactly what deck would work with it but guys that's all the footage that we got for update 9.0 it should be coming out relatively soon i think they usually put it out like a week or so or two weeks after updates come or um seasons reset that's usually uh how they go about it but let me know in the comments what you're most excited about is it necromancer is it vortex is it scrapper let me know if you think they're going to be crazy they all look i mean they all look pretty cool they all look pretty crazy i'm excited about every single one of them um and I hope you guys are too. But that's going to be the end of this YouTube video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.